Hi, this is Suchya Datta and now picking up the second chapter of economics class 9, people as resource. Now you all are aware of the fact that people are in fact the biggest resource that any country can possess. If we do not have humans, if the country does not have population, then the other resources are useless because it is the humans who develop other resources due to the ability, the intelligence and other skills that they possess. So, humans are in fact the backbone of all the resource that a country possesses. But we shall be talking about the humans as resource in themselves. Now, let me talk about the new terms of the chapter. The first is human resource. The working population of the country which contributes to the gross national product of the country by contributing in some or the other way that is the able bodied, the people, the humans who can actually work, they are considered as human resource. Next is economic activities. All the activities that a person performs for which he is paid is called as economic activity. For example, if you go out and work as a teacher, lawyer, professor, whatever, then you are paid for your work. So, it is an economic activity. Non-economic activity. All those activities for which a person is not paid is a non-economic activity. For example, a housewife does all the work at home but she is not paid for the work that she does. So, that is a non-economic activity. The various NGOs working for so many things are all under the non-economic activities because they are not paid for the good work that they are doing. Next is GNP. The gross national product of a country is in fact the total value of all the goods and services produced in a country and also adding to it is the net earning from abroad. So, all the earnings whether it is of the goods or services the value of that within the country and the earnings from abroad contribute to the making of gross national product. Next is human capital formation. We have seen that humans are a resource in themselves, but when human resources are developed by education, by good health, by providing them other facilities that leads to human capital formation. That is the development of the humans as such giving them various opportunities, education and health leads to the betterment of the humans and is called as human capital formation. Unemployment. Unemployment is that state when a person is willing to work but does not have work that is called as unemployment. There are two kinds of unemployments that I shall be talking about in the chapter but remember unemployment is a general term which means that it is in fact a position, a state, a willing person wanting some work but is not getting any kind of work. 